I'm gonna admit that wasn't my best time, you know, this isn't the best I've ever played the song. I did kind of get a little bit choppy or whatever on the, Ooh, sorry. I did get a little bit choppy on the solo, so I will admit that, but yeah. So anyways, let's get into it, I guess. So the whole thing starts off on the third fret. And you do a normal bar chord, so you bar the third fret with your index, ring finger on the A string, fifth fret, and then fifth fret, D string, pinky, and then middle finger, G string, fourth fret, so. And then it goes down one. So like, basically, you move all your fingers down, including the bar, the, the index finger, the bar, <laughs> the index finger, and you bar all the strings from the A down and you don't play the top string. So what you're gonna wanna do is kinda, I guess this helps. When you're barring it, kinda push your finger up into the E string a little bit, and then it mutes it. So, you don't hear it. And yeah, you, so you don't have to worry about hitting it while you're playing this, and you're doing this chord or whatever, so yeah. And then you have your uh, ring finger on the D string, fifth fret, and then fifth fret, pinky, B string, and G string, fourth fret, so. Like this. And then you move everything up or left, I guess, to the second fret. So, so it goes from that chord to the second fret. And you do the same thing. You keep barring the strings with... Ah, fuck, I cannot talk. You keep barring the strings from the A all the way down. So... You just move it over and you know same thing where you kind of want to push it up into the E string so that it mutes it and then you put your you play it basically like a normal bar chord except it's down one so it's like if it were here except you just move everything down so if you really want to know d string uh ring finger pinky on the g string fourth fret and then middle finger on the b string third fret so It continues to do that for like the whole like intro riff I guess and yeah then in the background there's a second guitar it plays this all right so um 
this. It's basically the ninth fret and the seventh fret. Those are the only frets you use, except you, and you only rotate from the D the D string to the G string. So you only hit those two strings. You just hit these you know four notes just in different you know patterns. So it starts off on the D string ninth fret and then it goes to the seventh fret, same string D string. So. One, two, three, four, five, and then uh, G string. It's so you basically just move your finger below just one string. So just from here to here, and it's the same thing. So the seventh fret, same string, and then up one. So. And it looks cool, I guess. So. So you do that twice, like I just did. And then you hit, you're gonna wanna hit the seventh fret G string before you start again. So it's, after you do it twice normally, you go. So basically you hit it, and then you go right back into the same thing. And then on the last one, it's a little different, so it's just. So it's the same thing with this. Move it down one, and you're gonna wanna. So I don't know how many hits that is, you can count if you really want, but just play it as long as I play it. You kinda do a pull off, kinda like hammer on type thing. So you just. Lift your finger up and then it plays the 7th fret on the same G string. And then back down. Alright, and then it goes right back into strumming. Except, during like the, the chorus part I guess, after it does that, the strumming is different. Instead of going there, it starts going 8th uh, fret and then 7th fret. And it's the same shape, same bar chord shape. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, I just totally fucked that up and that is not what you do. What you're gonna wanna do is it goes a lot faster. I totally just played that for like 30 seconds and that's not what you do. So just disregard that. And I, I've already remade this video like twice. I don't wanna do it again. It's Cause it's loud and it's like 9.30. So instead of going, it's faster. So it's same, same chord shapes, same places, eight, seven, except it's faster. It's not like the beginning of it's it's and then go and then ah, god i can't talk either i'm just not on my game today sorry and then it goes back to the third fret and then it plays the the intro chord riff thing <laughs> And then, uh, gosh, it's rough. I'm doing rough. So it does that, and then it goes back into the same thing where it's, oh, fuck. See, I'm, I'm all fucked up. Except, so yeah, so it does the same thing where you're strumming this while this is going on, except it's all palm muted, so it's like. So, you know, you know how to palm mute, I'm, I hope. So it's the same same shapes from before, except you're just palm muting it and you're still kind of strumming it. So, and while that's going, you play the same thing, the same you know little riff there or whatever, but you palm mute the entire thing. So you know you keep your palm there and you just. And it's 
it's not until that last part where you take your palm off and you let it ring. So you just let it ring and then it jumps right back into the same riff. And then the solo. Let's see if I can freaking teach this without messing it up. So it's pretty much like the, the other riffs. So after you strum a little bit, you just go straight into the same thing. So except everything's kind of, you know, it lasts long. You hit it more times than just. It's basically the same thing. So ninth fret, seventh fret, and then seventh fret again on the G string. Ninth fret. Seven, nine, seven. So nine. So you know, seven, nine. Seven. And you're gonna want to move up to the ninth fret on the G string, and then play the. So this is kind of where it gets tricky, just a little bit, not too hard. Ninth fret, and then you go to the twelfth fret, and then the ninth fret B string. So, and then the twelfth fret E string, and then the twelfth fret B string. And you kind of bend this a little bit. It's slight, it's really subtle in the song. I didn't even used to play it like that until I actually kind of just listened and I was like, wait, I'm kind of playing it wrong. So, so basically, 9, 12, 9, 12, 12. So D string, B string. Um, I fucked it up again, guys. Sorry. So ninth fret, you go to the twelfth fret, same string, and then you go to the ninth fret B string. Sorry, I'm fucking it up. And then twelfth fret, and you do the same thing. So I'm gonna try and do it slowly because I'm. Um, I apologize for being really shitty right now. I'm just not on my game right now, so. 9, 12, move it down one string to the B string. 9, or 10, 12 again, but on the E string. And then the 12th fret. And then you bend the 10th fret on the B string up a little bit. Okay, yeah, so sorry I'm fucking this up majorly. This video wasn't even supposed to be this long, but I'm talking too much. So yeah. And then, but it, so you do it like three times, so. And then you go to the ninth fret, uh, G string, and then the seventh fret, so. And you just hit it once because the, you know, the song goes to that weird stop where there's like a pause, so. God, fuck me, shit. You kind of hit the top string very subtly. It's the E string, you just pick it. And then you go right back into the chords from the beginning, so. Except you just do it a lot slower, so. And then you're gonna wanna, basically, since you're already in this shape, it's the normal bar chord shape, except you know it's below. You just, usually what I do is I just bring it up really quickly and then slide it. Cause you're gonna wanna do this, so. So all that is, is you slide to the eighth fret. And you bring it up and you basically do this. You're like you're jerking off the guitar. So eighth fret, go back up, seventh fret, so. And if 
you want to switch it up a bit, you can do some picking. Instead of just drumming, you can... You can... for however fucking long and then uh, on the last time it does it you stop on the seventh fret so you don't go back into it so it's just it's the last thing you hit and then it stops <laughs> I'm sorry guys I know I did really bad you know doing this tutorial it just took a lot longer than I wanted to because I was fucking up a lot but hopefully I didn't do really, you know, a terrible job. I, if you guys have any questions, please ask me. Just put it in the comments because somebody probably has the same question. I know you probably hear that from a lot of teachers if you're still in school. But yeah, somebody probably still has the same question as you because I did really shitty on that part explaining it. You know, if anything, I'll leave a tab for the solo in the bottom because I did kind of bad on it. So yeah, you guys have a really good day. I'm dropping my sixth period class at school, so I'm going to be getting off school early at like 1.15. And I'm not scheduled at all to work until at least 3.30. So I'll probably be putting more videos out because I have like a two-hour gap where I'm not doing shit. So yeah, you guys have a really good day. I apologize for being really shitty today. So yeah, you guys have a good one.